everybody, what's going on? It's Paul with another ride home review. This week I watched It Comes at Night, uh, directed by Troy Edward Schultz and starring Joel Edgerton, Carmody Jogo, Riley Keough. And so, um, the basically the movie is uh, about uh, the post-apocalypse and there's a certain sickness going around and it's about a couple families trying to survive uh, survive this this sickness in a sense it's, there's not very many actors in this um, it's pretty intense um, you're on the edge of your seat uh, the whole time and it is really it's not a long movie it's only about an hour and a half uh, but um, it's like I said it's very very intense um, um, it's the, the actors are incredible they're really really good um, and it's obviously uh, they have to go through this entire situation on pins and needles. Um, it's very hard to describe how, well, everything about this movie without giving it away. It's it's a thriller. Um, I wouldn't exactly call it a horror, but it is a thriller. Um, and there's reasons why I would say it's one genre over the other. Um, it's very intense, and so I really enjoy, I like the realism. A24 has this as a production company does a really good job at making um, the picture feel very real and so yeah this is a and the, and it's a simple story it's a very simple story but it's executed really well the pacing is there it slows down when it needs to slow down and it speeds up when it needs to speed up it's uh, you know the intensity rises and lowers when it's necessary. It's it's a really well done film. What I didn't really uh, like the most about it is, you know, it's it's kind of predictable. Um, you know what's you really know what's going to happen, and maybe that's intentional by the filmmakers saying you saying that we're putting this in your face. We know that you you figured this out, but how's it going to end up? And so that was pretty much about it that, I mean, you know, this, the cinematography was really good. I mean, the acting was just really top notch. I really enjoyed um, how the, the, the actors and there was, like I said, it was a short cast. So um, w one thing to watch for, and this is a really cool uh thing that the uh, the filmmakers this was a really cool choice that they made was um, making the screen very claustrophobic there was very few really wide shots and the wide shots that they did do they lit in a way in which your focus is really on on a certain spot and it was just really well done they were in people's faces I mean, they really shortened shorten the screen and put you really right into that situation which I thought was a cool touch I mean that's I mean they really shortened their shot shot and composition in order to create this uh, claustrophobia type feel and so but I liked it um, I thought it was really good as a thriller really good uh, really simple storyline that was executed well but what did you think let me know what your thoughts are. If you like this, like and share it. On, uh, like our Facebook page. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, all that stuff. We're at, we have a podcast. Check out the podcast. So please subscribe to us on iTunes. But let me know what you think. And I hope that uh, you enjoy the movie. I thought it was well done. All right. See you next week.